Taking your weaving off of the loom is probably way easier than you think it is. The first thing I want to cover and make sure you know how to do is just how to tie the knots. When we get it off the loom, you're going to have all these loose ends. For me, they'll actually be red. For you, whatever color your warp is. But right here is just some strings so I can show you. Um, they're all loose ends, and let's pretend my weaving is over here. The knot we're going to use is where you take the strings, you go around your finger, and see that little gap right in there? That's where we're going to push these strings through. So right now this is over it, so I'd need to push these strings right through this hole, right through there, and as I do, it makes a nice big knot. Let me show you one more time, and I'll do it a little smoother instead of freezing and discussing every little move I make, because I think you already probably know how to do this. So my weaving would be back here somewhere. I'd take the strings, wrap around my finger, go through the hole, the loop my finger made, and tie a knot. It's really that simple. Um, what you get to decide is how many strings you want in there. This is if I had four strings. You can make your knots every two strings or three. Um, I did want to show you how to cut it off of your loom. This part's going to be pretty short, so we don't want to chop it right here, otherwise everything comes undone. You'll take your weaving when you're all completed. Make sure your last end is tucked in and completed. If it's just hanging off the side, you're not ready. Mine is woven in. I turn it over, and I'm probably going to go a little under the tape, but in reality, it's like I want to go halfway across my board. If you went all the way to the bottom too, that's the way to do it, is to go halfway. And you're just going to cut these strings. They're probably a bit looser than when you first made them now. And they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be in a perfectly straight line, but you do want to do the middle. And once that's done, before you do anything, undo the tape so that, you know, you can actually get it off the board. Here is my other side. Okay, so I have all the strings are cut and the tape is taken off. Now I unfold these because we don't want to mess up my weaving and I can take this side off. There it is. Now I flip this over and I just pull this off too. So this is my back side, but sometimes it's a little bit nicer. You can see how you worked so hard on everything, but if you have fringe, it's on the other side. So I can turn this over now and you can see all those strings and my actual weaving. Don't move this around or play with it too much because these can still come undone, right? Just like you beat them together, they can come loose as you're playing with it. So we want to get right to tying those knots we discussed. Now that I've gotten it off the loom, I'm going to count the strings and do some really simple math just to figure out how I want to tie up those bundles. So let's see, how many strings do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can do this on a separate sheet of paper, or you can honestly just do the same thing I'm going to do. Um, if you do another loom in the future, you might have a different number of strings. So there are 15 strings, and I know that some of the easy uh, multiplication table is that that's 3 times 5 would get me 15. So I'm thinking that if I did three strings and tied them in a bundle, I would have five different knots going across. The other side of this is I could do five strings at a time and just have three knots, but that's going to really pull it really tight together. If I went every two strings, that's fine, but then I'm going to have one lone string or one bundle where I'm tying three together. It's a lot nicer and easier if you keep each one the same size, so the same number of strings. So I'm going to tie every three strings together on the top and the bottom. So here I take three strings. You can lift it up, we just don't want to play with this too much so it comes undone. And I make the loop, go through the hole, and now I'm going to pull that area to make the knot. I'm going to keep it really tight to the weaving, and I push down and there's one. I'll bring it up closer. There's one of my knots. And we're going to just keep going until we've done the whole top. And then I'll probably check in with you once I've done the bottom. 
through the hole. And remember to keep it down at the bottom. If you don't push it down, your knot's gonna be up here and this is gonna come undone. So please do push it down towards your weft, towards the weaving. I take three strings, I go around a finger, I go through and keep it pushed down and three more. Sorry if this is a bit tedious. Through the hole and I push it down, keep it close to the warp and my last one still is my tape. I should probably pull that off. Tie my last one. There, now this end is all tied off. Really easy, this one's a little loose, so maybe I would come and make it tighter. And I will check back in with you once I have the bottom done, and it's time to trim the strings. All right, I've completed tying my five knots at the top and my five knots at the bottom. The last thing we're gonna do is trim them. I want my top and bottom to be the same length, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna kind of fold it together so now these strings would be the same, and these ones and these ones. And then when I trim it, they should be somewhat the same because for me, I think that's the easiest way to keep it the same length. Um, but just like you gave your fringe haircut if you wanted to, that's all you're gonna do. Do not cut it super short. If I were to cut right here, these knots would come undone, my weft would come undone, and all the weaving would slowly fall apart. So do leave a good inch. You can leave them really long if you'd like long. You can do all kinds of things. So I'm gonna leave them, I like this length. And so now those two match, I keep going across. If you pull your strings like over here, it's gonna be too long. Let me show you what not to do. So it looked almost the same, but now when I stretch it out, look how different they are. So make sure you're leaving them straight and trimming them at the length you want. Okay, that's much better. So pull these out straight. And right here is where I'm gonna cut and trim it short. And now I have my weaving completely off my loom. I can pump up my fringe. And the last step for you guys in the weaving class is on the back, I want you to put a piece of tape with your name, make sure it's gonna stay on there so that when I get to grading, I know whose work it is.